Tim sings stories of a well-traveled heart. He's toured extensively Australia in, and New Zealand. He's played big theaters, small bars, intimate house concerts, and he joins the traditions of the great singer-songwriter troubadours. And he's brought Emma on fiddle with him tonight. So you're in for a real treat. Please welcome Tim and Emma. tonight everyone it's good it's a lot of goods Plastic bag blowing down an empty street. And out on the highest hill, I'm a voice in the fall. Yeah, I am the spirit of the spirit of a dog. And I'm so far from home. I've never lived Yeah, I'm one of a kind Just like all of the rest But I, I, I After the storm I, We're hollowed out and our hearts are sold from having too much and then asking for more. But it's so hard to remember what it's all about. Over the edge of a fire, this burn.
sing along Thank you so much. Cheers. You sure you're going okay out there? You're really quiet. It's, um... <laughs> Just spent six months last year touring up the, uh, touring down the west coast of Australia, uh, including the industrial, a gig in the industrial area of Carafa, um, which is a real good time. You guys are a little bit quieter than they were, though. Um, can you guys put your hands together for Rosie, um, who's going to come up and um, actually she's just signing people in for tickets and stuff. But I might just talk a bit longer. I'm going to get her up to um, to sing a song with us. Yeah, now, now, that's right. Yeah, you got to. So I met Rosie. Uh, I reckon it was last year. Played this wonderful show together and I don't know, I feel like Adelaide's just this amazing musical place where you can, you can live in the city for years and then come across people like Rosie and her band that just blow your mind, you know, they're just such beautiful people, beautiful musicians. But anyway, this is a song about, I wrote this song on the way home from busking in some faraway city many, many years ago, and um, it's about being asked to play one too many Bruce Springsteen songs. I met God down at the rough end of town He was a ten-year-old boy with a cigarette in his hand But I knew he was wise by that look in his eyes He said, I don't know where my dad is, but my mum has died and It's a crazy old world, and I'm just playing my part So give him nothing but a song, and sing it with all my Give him nothing but a song and a singer with all my heart. He came back as an old woman who was worn out and wild as a night. She said, They're coming for me, but I won't go without. Life's never been easy, I've known that from the start. So give me nothing but a song and I'm singing with all my heart. I gave him nothing but a song and I'm singing with all my heart. And I saw him again, he was an old man with his back against the wall. But his smile was wide like he had nothing to hide at all. He said, you remind me of me when I was 16. And can you play me something by Bruce Springsteen? I said, oh, oh, I'm on.
rude either that I listen to this on the way up. <laughs> so I'm not playing a game on my phone. <laughs> She's just getting the word all for today. Is there any clues? <laughs> I actually googled the word. I googled the words to this one, and I think that's how you know when you've made it when someone has written up your lyrics. So there you go. That's <laughs> it. So yeah. So I don't know. That's. I feel like if if I if Google's got different words to my words. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I still feel like I need to trust Google on that. <laughs> This is a song I wrote about the last conversation I had with a very dear friend. But the sun is almost gone And the stars are coming out inside my mind And I am nearly home I am not the last one of my kind We read all the signs in the end we found it on our own Knew we had a right When our hearts were full and our minds were blown So breathe in now And let me go Then hold it out That ancient flow Nothing stays the same Nothing really ever changes at all But the faces and the names And the space between the first step and the fall Well, there's a dream inside our silence Trees along the narrow winding road Leads us out here from everything we know oh, But I know your voice And I know your ghost And it's not time We need the most So breathe in now And let me go Oh 
up for Rosie Roberts, everyone. Just a little note to self, um, not to get someone to sing harmonies who's a, who's a better singing singer than you are, I think. That's the, that's the lesson. So, um, I've travelled around this country a few times and I've learned a lot about Australia and uh, I'm really reluctant to play a political song, particularly on Election Day. It doesn't really matter where you stand, it always comes across as really preachy. But um, I wrote this song a few years ago and rather than sort of trying to push a point, I tried to think about what it would be like if, if Australia was able to write a song to us and what that might sound like and what the nation might say to us. light of a new dawn on the last light of a fading star and the longest road to nowhere and I am the way home no matter how far I'm a dying river winding out across the soul I am a train whistling in the dark I'm the ghost of a man has forgotten his name I'm the undergrowth waiting for a spark I'm a gun going off in some foreign land I am the last bottle up on a shelf And I'm all of the lives of your leaders And I am the truth that you can't forget I'm your mate ship and I am your meadows And I'm clenched fists, I am regret Like teeth under the water, like a snake in the grass. All oh, it's gonna kill you, eh? Nothing that will last. I am lucky, I am lost, and I am scared. I am a lucky. Yeah, 
I am a fire, 40,000 years old, on the embers even as they fade. I am a fire, 40,000 years old, on the embers even as they fade. Black teeth under the water, like a snake in the grass. Oh, it's gonna kill you well. Like a flag, wrap me around your chest. You can tell me that you love me. You can say that we're the best, but we'll be lucky. We'll be lost and we'll be scared. We'll be lucky. We'll be lost. We'll be scared. Thank you. Probably should put this out this time. <laughs> you guys up for a, a bit of a story? <laughs> One person's up for a story. Everyone else is just going to have to tolerate it because I'm going to tell you anyway. <coughs> so, um. So 200 years ago, roughly, we're going to start there, um, there was a man who had a dream to start a brand new world. And uh, this world was going to be, this new world was going to be populated by only people of high moral character. And uh, they weren't going to build police stations or hospitals for a while because everyone was going to be young and healthy. And they're going to call this place Adelaide. Uh, this is a true story. <clears throat> All the interstate people are going, what is this guy on about? <clears throat> it's true. It's going to be a utopia. You might not know this, but South Australia was supposed to be a utopia um, in the new world. And uh, Anyway, the guy who had this dream, was <laughs> he was doing time for abducting a wealthy heiress and trying to force her to marry him. So, you know, noble beginning, South Australia. But... Um, the story starts uh, somewhere else, though. It's in the north of Germany where uh, um, this missionary had heard of this place, heard of the New World, and they wanted to come down and, and work with the, the indigenous people. He thought this might be a place that, uh, that they'll finally get a bit of a go, and he wanted to find out about their culture. And so, um, anyway, he travelled across the planet on an old sailing ship, and he arrived and he had no money. He walked up that, and he landed at Holfast Bay and walked up what's probably now Anzac Highway. And, uh, and before he got to the, the city, he saw the same sort of evidence of the brutality that had sort of marked the colonial impact across the, across the nation, or across the, the world, really. Anyway, this fellow, he, in 1838, he, uh, he decided that he'd, he'd go and meet the Ghana people. And he walked with the Ghana people, went on walkabout with them and he, and he learned their language and he learned their stories and he learned their song lines and he wrote it all down. And then he, um, then he set up a school for Ghana kids to learn their own language in 1838 on the banks of the Torrens, this German fellow. And uh, I reckon that's pretty incredible. Um, so when that language essentially died in, uh, I think it was 1935 and Daisy Bates passed away, and that language was gone, it was... Um, it was only because of this guy's dictionary that we're able to have those words and that language now. We're able to rename some of our places we think that were important to them and important to us. And anyway, I just sort of became, you know, this guy kind of caught my imagination when I was studying at uni and I thought, like, he's just a man out of time. He just, he blew my mind. I wrote, um, I wrote essays about him and I just, he just sort of piqued my interest, I think. Anyway, I was helping my grandmother move house years later and, and she um, was going through an old box and I find this guy's dictionary and I find a photo of him and he's from 1889 and 
this, this huge beard and no shirt on. And I said to my grandmother, like, I know this guy. Like, why have, we got a fo- why have you got a photo in this old box? And um, she said to me, well, that's because he's your great, great, great grandfather. So, uh, this is a song about C.G. Tuckerman. Watch his home become a line Between the ocean and the pearl sky Cause that breeze was full of memories and goals So he breathed it into his lung For the last time Before six months of unending horizons Six months of sea and salt and sun Six months to understand there are things that a man does Can never be undone Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He landed on the heat with his best friend on the beach Walked those long and dusty miles into town They talked about that better world they'd made Even if they had to build it up out of the ground When they arrived they first smelt and saw the horror Where Black Adam with that apple in his hand Here in the heart of a new world the same strange fruit it hung above the sand. And he said, Oh, these weary eyes, all that they have seen. I am laying down, all I've been carrying. Went straight down to the river bank, sat with the oldest living people on the earth. He said, Teach me your language and your stories, and I promise that I'll write down every word. They said, All that we have is disappearing, our young and old, they die. That white man is a taker, and he's taken nearly everything from us. And they said, Oh, these weary eyes, all that they have seen, we are laying down. dreams about the past but a handful remain who still remember the names and keep the words that they wrote written on their hearts they say so much water it's flowed down this river we're still waiting to begin they treated us like we were nothing but he treated us like we sing oh how we realize and all that they have seen I am laying down all I've been I'm laying down Oh, I've been 
all I've been carrying. Thank you so much. Because you guys are being um, disarmingly attentive, we thought we might um, play this next one um, acoustically, if that's cool. Is that okay? Yeah.
Thank you so much for being such a lovely group of people to, to play for. Mike, how are we off for time, mate? One. Yeah, cool. Do you guys feel like a bit of a sing-along? Yeah, good. Ah, oh, good energy, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a, a real quick... <laughs> I want it to be a quick story. It's not going to be a quick story. Um, when COVID hit a couple of years ago, isn't that weird that it hit a couple of years ago? It's not just like last week. It's been with us for a while. I discovered that I could sit in front of my phone and, uh, and play music live to a whole lot of people who bothered to tune in. So I did that at 8 o'clock one night. Played one of my songs and I played a, a, a cover. And it was really nice. Lots of people rocked up and uh, so I thought I'll do it. I'm not doing anything the next night so I'll, I'll do the same thing. And as you know, that sort of lockdown thing we had that was not really a lockdown. But remember we were all home every night at 8 o'clock for... Um, I don't know, like a lot of time. Anyway, one thing led to another and um, I ended up ended up doing a different song, different cover and a different original every night for a hundred nights, hundred consecutive nights. And uh, on the last night, man, I, it sounds like, I'm, <laughs> sounds like it's a really good thing, but man, the last 20 nights got pretty weird. Um, <laughs> some people rocked up, those people from all over the world, um, tuning in and um, some people rocked up every single night like I'm not even that into my music uh, <laughs> anyway when we got to the last the last night I, uh, I'd saved this song up I'd written it and uh, it's a song about going out and back at that point I wasn't really sure if we were going to be able to do this again you know we were sort of like are we ever going to be able to play music are we all sort of finished with music now we're not going to come back to it live music like this and um, so when I wrote this song and it's got a sing-along bit and I said to people, can you sing along and record yourself singing on your phone and, uh, and I'll put it on the final recording. And it, that sounds like a really good idea and I did it. Um, <laughs> so there's like hundreds of vocal parts on this, on this recording from people as far away as Florida and New York and Canada and the UK and New Zealand and all over the world, Shanghai. If you want to listen, it's on Spotify. But I'd really love you guys to sing along tonight. Um, so the, uh, the sing-along beat goes like this. Sing along. That's good. That's um. That's pretty. It's pretty chilled out. Thank you very, very much for singing along. I think we only heard the people who have got good singing voices, um, and that's not really good enough for me. <laughs> so the way this song goes, like I actually, I'm really talking to the people who's who can't sing. It sounds terrible. Relatives poke fun at you. This is your time to shine. I want you to sing really loud. The more out of tune, the better, if you can. Can I hear like mostly from those people this time? Sing it loud, 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 yes. Loud, 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 loud. That was in tune, man. That's. <laughs> Let's give it up for Ash. Ash. She's taking the stage. Woo! If anyone else wants to take the stage, we've got like three mics. I'm sure we can get some more people on the mics. Like a good thing wrong. Like the fog that lifts the dawn. Like two bodies leaning close, just. It was a nameless feeling that pulled us through the door. We went out. We went out. We went out. Don't worry, 
Ash is coming, but just not yet. <laughs> and the reasons we came. And not the reasons that we stay. But our eyes were closed the moment that everything changed. With the melody sweet and the words running deep in our veins, we went out. Oh, we went out. We went out. Oh, oh this is why we went out. Here we go. Sing it loud. I reckon we need Kaylin Hames up here as well. So we held our glasses up. And we listened in the dark. To the sound of somebody singing right out of their heart. Like the world was a whole. We were all beautiful parts. Oh, oh, we went out. We went out. Welcome, Mike. Woo! We went out. This is why we went out. This is the bridge, not the chorus. Let's bring this wine like it's water. See you in the morning again. Cause we've been to the bottom, but this is not falling. With our arms round our brothers and sisters and strangers and friends. Well, we'll sing like we mean it. We have all seen it. We'll sing like we're breathing again. Here we go, really loud. Sing it loud. Sing it